Be Wealthy and Smart, episode 1335. into a world of wealth and financial freedom without budgets, boredom, or bosses on Be Wealthy and Smart. And now, here's your host, Linda P. Jones. Welcome to Be Wealthy and Smart. I'm Linda P. Jones, America's Wealth Mentor, empowering women and men worldwide to financial freedom. On today's show, we're going to talk about what to do with your tax refund and other things tax related because it is that time of the year. We have just a few days until the tax deadline of April 15th. And while it's never fun to be in a mad scramble to get your taxes done, you can file an extension if you know what tax you have due and you pay your tax by April 15th. You can actually file your taxes by October 15th. So what kind of an amount are people expecting for their refund? Well, 52% of respondents expect their tax refund this year to be about the same as last year, and 18% are expecting more in their refund checks. In addition, 30% expect to receive less than the amount they got in 2023. According to the IRS, the average tax refund as of the week ending February 4th was $1,395. That's down 29% from last year at the same time when the average refund amount was $1,963, a $600 difference. So far, the IRS has received 15.31 million tax returns, which is down 19% from the number of returns it received this time last year, which was 18.95 million. And it's processed 13.92 million returns so far in 2024. And what are people planning to do with their refund? Well, most Americans plan to use their refund to increase their savings. That's what 25% of respondents said, that they plan to put their refund in some kind of a savings account. 15% of respondents said they plan to use a refund to pay off debt, and 13% said they'll use it to pay bills. About 2% of Americans said they plan to spend their refund on a vacation, and 4% said they would spend it on a major purchase to treat themselves, and another 4% said they would invest it, and less than 1% said they would donate it. Well, I think the investment idea is a very good idea. That's really the only solution that could change your financial circumstances going forward. A savings account can provide a nice cushion, but really investing is what's going to grow your money and create more wealth for you. Some typical uses of your tax refund, as I said, paying off debt. About 15% of Americans plan to pay off debt with their refund. Another use of the refund is to create an emergency fund. And that's a good thing because 36% of Americans have $100 or less in savings, not enough to cover most emergencies. So starting an emergency fund is a good option. You can also invest in the S&P 500 ETF. That's a low cost way to invest in the top 500 largest companies in the S&P 500. And while it's much more fun to get a refund than to have to write a check, just be aware if you're getting too large of a refund, you might need to reassess your W-4 to adjust your withholding so you can hang on to more of each paycheck. If you haven't yet subscribed to Be Wealthy and Smart, hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified as soon as new podcasts are available. And all of my podcasts are on my website at lindapjones.com forward slash podcasts. And while you're there, sign up for my weekly newsletter for more tips for your financial freedom. That's all for today. Until next time, live the good life and be wealthy and smart. Thank you for listening to Be Wealthy and Smart with Linda P. Jones. Share the wealth and tell your family and friends about the show. Check out our website, blog, and social media for more riches at www.bewealthyandsmart.com.